Glory be to the Father, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it so was in the beginning, is now, now shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to this Holy Eucharist celebration. As we thank God for all the blessings and for this beautiful day, let us continue to ask God to forgive us for those times we went away from His love and protection. We lacked the faith and we were impatient with our daily trials and difficulties. Let us ask Him to fill our hearts with love and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, who dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day, while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as though for exile. And again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime. While they are looking on, in the evening again while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out in darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land, for I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. I did as I was told. During the day I brought out my baggage as though it were that of an exile, and at evening I dug a hole through the wall with my hand, and while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then in the morning the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, did not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them, thus says the Lord God, this oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives, they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder his burden and set out in darkness, going through a hole, a hole he has dug out in the wall, and covering his face, lest he be seen by anyone. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They tempted and rebelled against God the Most High, and kept not his decrees. They turned back and were faithless like their fathers. They recoil like a treacherous bow. Do not forget the works of the Lord. 
They angered him with their high places, and with the, their idols roused his jealousy. God heard and was enraged, and utterly rejected Israel. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And he surrendered his strength into captivity, his glory in the hands of the foe. He abandoned his people to the sword, and was enraged against his inheritance. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. While when he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, uh, his children and all his property in payment of the debt. At that the servant fell down, did him homage and said, be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. Moved with the compassion and the master of that servant, I let him go and forgive him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him and demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the tortures until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you, unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But dear friends, we have few points for our reflection and prayer today. The first point comes from the first reading. God reminds Ezekiel, the prophet, his mission is going to be tough. His mission is going to be very hard. And I'm sure each one of us has this mission as we get up every day, as we get up every day, we get up with this hope of doing something good for one another, bringing God's will into our lives. Though we are not sure what will happen tomorrow, there is a short story says of uh, all of us that uh, we are not sure of tomorrow. We don't know what will happen. Our mission is going to be tough or not, we don't know. 
but we still set the alarm for waking up. We don't know uh, to wake up. Uh, that is our hope in our God. So Ezekiel had to really trust in the promise of God that he is going to be uh, preaching in the midst of the rebellious people, the people who have, uh, have ears but cannot hear, eyes but cannot see. So that is why we have uh, during the baptism we have a small effata prayer. We are touching on the ears and touching on the uh, mouth that go, that the little child as she or he grows up will listen to the word of God and proclaim uh, and that is the greatest prayer everybody uh, joins uh, with the whole heart and mind and we love that effort uh, prayer but here is the prophet Ezekiel besides his own struggles he takes up that particular mission of proclaiming God's intention to the rebellious uh, people of Israel warning them about the a future exile they, they are, it is going to happen to them they are going to be in exile as captives but each one of us should take up our mission though it is very tough we know that it is a very difficult moments we are passing through for our parents and our our teachers and our religious leaders and all our faithful all the people who really come out with the charity and other um, humanitarian works. There are a lot of oppositions. There are so many disruptions that are happening together that will lead us to the second point, how much time or how many times we have to forgive those people. And I, th I think I had told you about a story about a seminarian who uh, likes to pray only the first part of the Our Father. The second part he does not pray. Why? Because, uh, of course, they, he did not become a priest, but uh, the second part was why he could not say this uh, second part of the Our Father, seeking the forgiveness of the Lord and asking us to forgive one another. That was a very impossible mission for him because he had to forgive his father who um, really beats uh, uh, his uh, mother. So he could not forgive his father from his heart. So my dear friends, today God is asking us to forgive one another. A lot of forgiveness we need as we live in the family. And that forgiveness brings unity. The forgiveness of Jesus brought um, uh, unity in the uh, lives of the faithful and peace also. That is why as we begin every prayer or especially the Eucharist celebration, we, can, uh, we are asking God to forgive us for those times we have sinned against Him through our words and deeds. Forgive our transgressions. Though Peter said that seven times is too much for him. Seven times only. Seven 70 times so in the whole life we have to forgive and I believe that uh, always the good things, forgiveness and the good things can overcome the evil. Let us forgive all those who people destroy our nation, destroy the things, destroy our history. Uh, let us forgive them and let us accept them as human beings and uh, with the humanitarian understanding and love let us pray for one another, especially in the family. We need this aspect of uh, uh, prayer, forgiveness, compassion and love as Jesus did uh, and showed us on the cross. He forgave even the last moment. He forgave the people who persecuted him. And let us take up every mission of ours with strong faith in God as prophet Ezekiel. Let us bring all our prayers before the Lord 
assured the compassion and mercy of God, we offer our prayers today. That the Lord may help all members of the church grow in compassion and forgiveness of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic leaders may be guided by the Holy Spirit in their efforts to care for the communities they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose sins separate them from loved ones may receive the grace of God for repentance, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faith community, guided by the teaching of Jesus, may continue to grow in charity and hospitality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may find peace and eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially for the repose of the soul of Arcadia Zea de Borges, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And from the, the intentions we offer from the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you know your, our sins and all that separates us from you. In your mercy, hear the prayers we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. With the humble spirit and comfort. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offering of your church for in you, mercy you have given them uh, to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the voice of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and George, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Angela Marici, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us offer each other sign of peace. It's really fun.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but you will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us pray one Hail Mary for the protection of our children. Hail Amen. Mary, full, full of grace. grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among, among women, women. And, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Amen.